What's good? What's good? It's your boy Diggy Do the King of Poppin' checking in one time. Um, <laughs> I got some things I want to talk to everybody about. You know what I'm saying? Um, I never thought that it would really come to this so soon, but I gotta go ahead and say it. You know, um, it's been a long, 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 y'all, long time coming. Um, I'm 23. I'll be 24 in January, in which I know some of the fans are already out there know. But um. Y'all know, like I said, I go by the name of Diggy Do the King of Pop, and if y'all don't know me, um, this is my coming out story. But I have to say what I gotta say because some people may think that I'm just doing it just to do it or just to prove a point. But let me tell you one thing about Diggy Do, and I think the true fans and the true supporters know I don't have anything to prove to anybody. And I do have a connection, I do have a relationship with God, and God has told me to do this. It's not me. Um, I can't move forward unless I'm, 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 I'm all the way truthful about everything that I do. Um, how can you really succeed in life when you are, in a sense, not necessarily straggling the fence, but you are, how can you know your purpose if you don't come to terms with who you are where you, when you can say it and say it out of your own mouth and don't have to worry about what nobody may think of you? You have to come to terms with who you are and you should be able to say it and shouldn't be able to hide from nobody. And in a sense, that's kind of sort of what I was doing. You know, I was... Coming out, you know, making videos saying this and saying that, oh, it's okay to be this way, it's okay to be that way. I never really had the chance to actually say it out of my own mouth because I felt like if I was to say it out of my mouth, then my fans wouldn't love me, the people who support me, you know, um, I wouldn't make it to the, into the music industry, you know, no record labels or anybody would want to mess with me. But truth be told, people respect honesty. And I really don't have to say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? It really don't matter. You know, I'm learning that my fans love me regardless of if I'm gay or straight. But yes, I am gay. And I'm very comfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't understand it. Some people will never understand it. And when I came out to actually say that, I knew that some people would not understand it. I had to expect for people, for a lot of people to not understand it. But on the flip side, I have so many. I have so many people who really do understand me. It's been rough for me, y'all. Um, it's really been rough as far as trying to um, break off into certain markets. But at the same time, there's a market that's right in my face who will support you no matter what. That's the LGBT, the gay community, the bisexual, transgender, lesbian, whatever. They support, you know what I'm saying? And I love my straight people. I love everybody. There, there's really no category to me in, in, my, in my mind as far as categorizing people. I think everybody's just human beings. Gay is just a name. Just like you singing racks on racks on racks. People think of a rack, you think of a shell. You know what I'm saying? But that's a man-made word. It's a rack, you know? Gay is just a man way. The right word is homosexuality, but my thing is, this video is for a lot of people so y'all can understand the stuff that I go through, so y'all can see who I really am. I mean, once again, I take this how. This how, yeah, it's Rammy. Yeah, it's, you know, it's flawless. I mean, it, it go everywhere I want to go. But guess what? This hair ain't going with me when I die. Um, this is just the way that I express myself because I like hair. You know, um, this is who I am. You know, some people won't be able to accept it. But yes, I am gay. This is who I am. I've been this way ever since I was a little child. Some things you just can't fight. What a lot of people don't like, to be honest, are the ones who are hiding. And you can't hide. Like, hiding, hiding only makes things worse. How can you hide who you are when eventually it's going to come to the light anyway. You know what I'm saying? Some people go to their grave hiding, but at the same time, that's something they got to deal with, you know, with God because God know who we all are. I'm not saying you got to come out to the world to tell people who you are, but at the same time, you got to know, you got to know your own identity. When you know what you like, you can't, you can't run from that. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, you can hide. Anybody can hide it. I can get under the cover, but eventually the bed got to be made. So my thing is, in order for me to move forward in my career, I can't allow myself to not be able to say what it really is because it's going to catch me up in the long run. Think about it like this. I have a fan base. I got people that see me. If I'm steady saying they, using the word they, or or um, doing things that, that people can see in me that they know that's pretty much gay or things like that, or or talking when I'm talking to my fans and blogging and I'm talking to people and I'm, and I'm trying to say what it is without saying it, people can kind of tell it's it's kind of like confusing to them. And I don't want my fans confused. I want people to be truthful and see me for who I really am. That's the problem. A lot of people don't do that. They want to be out here. They want to be seen. Dudes out here sagging, like I said. My previous blogs, they sagging. You know what I'm saying? They're doing everything underneath the sun. But when push comes to shove, behind all of that, they somebody totally different. Just because it looks like a duck and walks like a duck, that don't mean it's always a duck. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, some of these guys look hard. I've been dealing with some situations with guys that I've been, you know what I'm saying, dealing with. Um, as far as people that I know, you know, they straggling the fence. Like, they, they don't want to come out. But I understand because I was there too. So, it's, it's a hard lifestyle. You know, it's nothing that you can really just come out and do because you got to worry about how people are going to take it. But in my position, it's different. I can't speak for everybody else. Some people can't come out because they feel like their family, you know, people have been put out. People have been killed. People still getting killed to this day because of being gay. And I don't understand that because can't nobody judge nobody. Um, I had somebody who came on my page on Facebook. They was just like, the reason why you coming out is because um, I'm frustrated and you don't need to be basing your Feelings are frustration, you know, because of the heat of the moment. But what moment? What frustration? I'm not frustrated. No, I'm being honest and I'm being truthful and I'm being straight up with the people that love me. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being caught up and frustrated about me not being able to tell the truth. That's what I'm tired of. And what I mean by that, I've been truthful with everybody. I just haven't come out my mouth and said this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really have to say it like I said, but I'm saying it because I feel like it's God putting it on my heart to do so. God told, God is telling me to do this. It ain't me. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I honestly didn't think that I was going to do it. But some people may shy away, like I said, and some people won't. If anything, I think my fan base is about to get stronger because I'm doing something that a lot of people did not expect. I guess they expect me to be in the closet, whatever, what closet. I don't know what closet they're talking about because there was never a closet behind me. Um, I've never seen a closet. Um, but there's never been a closet, you know, it's always been Alvin Butler, Diggy Dude. I'm just, I'm just growing and I'm learning that God is real and he has something for me to do. And I, he can't use me fully if I'm not being all the way open and honest about who I am or what he wants me to do. I know what he's showing me. He's not going to show it to you. He's not going to show it to some of the other people that are around me. Everybody, some people are not going to get it. Some people may think I'm just ranting out and just, no, it's not about that. And I don't really have to explain it. As long as I know God, I know what God is showing me. And 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 and, and confusion is of the devil. I'm not going to be confused. I know who I am. I know exactly who I am. The problem is some of y'all don't know who y'all are. Y'all struggling and fighting with demons and, and, and sleeping with them. Don't even know it. Y'all, y'all own worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, those days are over for me. I had to find myself. You know, um, it was hard coming up for me. Real hard. No, my family didn't know how to really take everything that I do. But they're coming around. You know, I love them. I love my mom. I love my sister. I love my granddaddy. You know, I love everybody. But at the same time, that's why God is putting on my heart to love regardless of how they look at me. Because I have to be accountable for me. I can't be accountable for what they do and how they perceive me. Because we got to be careful how we look at people. Because God knows what's in each and every one of our hearts. So... I can't be wrong. I got to be in the right because God does have to judge me one day. So despite of what anybody may think or feel, I have to be right. At least I'm coming to terms with to know, okay, this isn't who I am. Okay, stop the music. This is who I am. You have to come to terms to know who you are first. It's like until y'all find y'all inner person, that's when y'all will be able to accept y'all selves. I have found my inner person. You know what I'm saying? But I, I wasn't able to accept the fact of me calling myself gay. But I know that's what I am. So that's why I can say it out of my mouth now. I'm gay. That's what it is. You can't run. And, and, and people try to say, they be so quick to judge and say, oh, it's, it's an abomination. You're going to hell. And, you know, that's not going to get into the kingdom of heaven. Well, let me say this. No sin is greater than the other. It's a lot of people that sin. It's a lot of people that's doing everything which way up under the sun. It might be your husband playing with another dude. You just never know. So please be careful. I'm just keeping it real. I want y'all to understand that I did not choose this. This is, who I've, this is who I've always been, even as a child, like I said. I believe some people kind of already seen it. Um, they did. You know, I got people in my family who saw it when I was young. So it shouldn't be no surprise now that I'm about to be 24. And I'm actually saying out of my mouth what it is, you know. Um, it's always been there, you know. I, I um, really didn't have a father figure in my life, whatever. My father died when I was younger. And I was raised around all females. Uh, you know, some people say, well, the reason why you may be gay is because you don't you have no father figure. I beg the devil because I know a lot of gay people who do have father figures and they and they may be in their lives just a little bit too much. And they still gay. So some things you just can't choose. That's just like somebody being born with one arm and the other arm is a nub. Like, <laughs> that's how they came. I mean, that's, I mean... I, People, I've heard some people say well, you can change, you know, you can do this, you can do that. No, I mean, me and my theory, I don't, I don't care what nobody say. I just feel like you just, you just can't. That's just like somebody. It's like me praying to be white when I know I'm black. I mean, I can't pray to be white. I'm, I'm black. Ain't no need of me not being able to say out of my mouth what it really is, you know, because at the end of the day, 
God knows what it is. I can't lie to him. I can easily go get me a woman. I got a lot of fans that love me, and I love them dearly. I love them dearly. I know a bad woman when I see a bad woman, but at the same time, I know that's not what I'm physically, mentally, and, and emotionally attracted to. Um, but I love them because they love me, and I can sing to them any day. It's about the music. It's not about my sexuality, you know, and I think some people get that confused, but a lot of people actually been waiting to hear me say this. That's why I don't mind saying, you know, it ain't about giving nobody no answer or proving a point. I'm doing this for me. This is for Alvin. Diggy dude, this is for me. You know, they, it's been going on forever, y'all. This, this ain't nothing that just started. This has been going on ever since I even got on this earth. Before there was no how. I wasn't here. I wasn't even here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just expressing myself the best way I know how because I'm creative and I know God gave me something that he have not given nobody else. So therefore, I'm just going to continue to do me. I'm going to continue to be myself. And I'm gonna to continue to 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 open up to to people, and 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 there are a lot of gay people who struggling, who need somebody to talk to. I'm telling you, cause I was there, y'all. I had, I was about to commit suicide. I was about to take myself out. My high school years, oh my God, I don't even want to get started on that. You know, it still hunts me to this day. I try to make peace with people I know that don't like me or didn't like me, but you know, you can't make peace with everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's because that's my heart. That's my heart, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I was perfect, but my high school years were very crucial for me. Um, and it still does hunt me, but I move on because I know what I have to do. Um, it would be times I remember walking, I would go to school and um, walking down the hall and I hear some guys, oh, faggot ass motherfucker, look old sis head. Man, you a sissy. You just a weak ass. <laughs> Like, dude, for real? Like, why are you picking with me? I ain't did nothing to you. You bypassing all this good, fat cat <laughs> walking through the hallways, and yet you picking on little bitty old Alvin. Like, for real, out of all these girls, every day, I can't come to school one day without you saying something to me. Are you really straight? Are you really straight? Like, or are you putting on a facade because you really want me behind it? Or you, something, something about me that just is, is you like it, but you don't know how to deal with it. It's just so many people I know, I'm telling y'all. Y'all know I ain't got a reason to lie. I'm not the only gay person out there. There are many bisexual people. You got a lot of men who putting up like they like women, but behind that, they, they, they trying to get at your brother. And they trying to get at... It is what it is. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I'd have seen it, and I'd have seen all of this. Me, I don't fool with everybody. I, I, I don't even. I'm not even in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? My music is what I like. That's what I'm. That's what I'm screwing. This music. I'm putting it all on my tracks. I'm putting it all on my music. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, I have talked to some guys, and I fell in love with some guys, but. <clears throat> I'm finding out even with that, people don't want to be real. You know, they get in it, and they start off saying, "Oh, I'm straight," and. I'm straight this and you know hiding this, but then when they get in, they start showing this other side is I've never seen before, and, and other people probably haven't either, and they it's it's not so straight, you know, because certain things a man just ain't gonna do. But I ain't gonna even get started on that. That's another blog. That's another video. We talking about Alvin. This video is about me, but I'm speaking on this because it's all real, and these are issues that are going on, and before you know it, people gonna start coming out. I ain't the first, and the damn show ain't gonna be the last. I'm doing this because God is putting it on me to be 100 with y'all, to be real for real. Because some people, oh, I'm real. No, you ain't. You you, you real. You got real spelled backwards. You know what I'm saying? That's not real. I'm the definition of truth. My fans know it. And people who've been following me ever since I've been starting this grind has, have, have seen me. You can see change. You know what I'm saying? It's been there. I just haven't really put it out there. But the more I'm growing and getting older, I'm noticing, okay, yes, I can rock long hair. Yes, I can come out and be myself. Ain't no, that's going to stop me. Then I had people put in my head, oh, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that, because ain't no record label going to sign you, and if you be too revealing, you you gay, and they ain't going to mess you with, guess what? You got Adam Lambert, you got a lot of these people out here who are doing it, and they have fans that really love them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put too many people out there, I'm just saying, like, I mean, some people already know, everybody ain't straight. Half the industry is gay. So... You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody judge me based on who I am because I'm only being the person I know to be. Like, I tried changing. and it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Some people was like, well, maybe you didn't put God, you know, first in your life. Yes, I did. I got baptized. I was reading the Bible. Um, and I thought it was going to end. I thought it was going to be over with. But it wasn't. It was still there. You know, I kept trying to run from it, but it was still there. Like, certain things you just can't run from. Certain things are going to just be what it is. Like, either you're an apple or an orange. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm just me, you know, who else can I be? 
Um, I think some people expected me to change and they feel like I'm going to change and they feel like I, they can pray and it'll go away. Well, guess what? God is the one that made me. You don't have no heaven or hell to put me in. And, 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 and until you walk on water, until you, 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 you heal the blind and hang on the cross, then you can come for me and you can judge me. But until then, I'm being the person I know to be. And if it's meant for me to change, God will change me. But I'm not attracted to females. I'm not. Um, I, I try to be. You know, I see women. I dance with girls all the time. Y'all see, I be on stage clown. I love women as who they are. But I don't. I'm not attracted to them. I didn't choose that. That's just like your taste buds. If you eat something, you don't tell yourself what to be attracted to. It's just like what it like. And that's how it's been ever since I was little. Ever since I was a child, and I didn't even know what gay was. Some people say, well, you know. Gay people, they pick up what they see and then it becomes a lifestyle. Wrong answer. It, it, yeah, don't get me wrong. You know, you do, you got some kids that hunt each other and do little stuff like that. You know, some kids, they don't know no better. You know, that's what they do. It's a part of life. I'm just keeping it real with y'all right now. Um, but it don't have anything to do with that per se. I think that could be, um, that can be an asset of why you turn out to be the way you are. But some things are just in you, I think, when you are in the womb. And I think God knew what I was going to be before I got here. I know he did because he said it in his word. You know what I'm saying? I just think that some people take things and they pick scripts out of the Bible that they want to pick and try to throw them at you. But they can try to throw scripts at me all day because guess what? When they do, that's them being judged. They didn't write the Bible. They didn't, they, you can read it, but they didn't write it. So my thing is when you think about it, Knowing that they did not, who are they to judge me? They can't judge me. People judge me a lot, y'all. I try to tell y'all with that first video blog I put out in 2009, but I didn't come out and say it. I was still in that process of trying to say it without saying it. Now I can say it because I'm free and I'm open with myself. And I know that this video is going to help so many of my fans because they, some of them have come to me. They write me in my inbox, thank you, Diggy. Oh, my God. I'm like, what? You know, what did I do? They show so much love because they like, you helping me to... I'm inspiring them to be themselves. They don't know how to, they be trying to do the same thing I did. They be trying to run from it. And I tried it a long time ago. When I turned 21, it was over. And I ain't do that just because, oh, I'm 21, I'm legal. No, 21 was the age that I had a nervous breakdown. And I saw then, okay, this is who I am. I can't do anything about it. I tried to change. It did not work. What else am I there to do? What do you want me to do? I mean, like you had people trying to tell me, you know, you can do this. Okay, so is there a class I can go to? Um, hey, is there something I can do? I mean, can you put a needle in me? Maybe I'll bust and I'll be straight or what? I mean, can you turn the light on or turn it off? Maybe turn it off. Maybe. Okay, it's dark. I think I'm straight now. I don't know. <laughs> right, light back on. We're going we gonna to cut that because that's not the truth. So I'd rather be myself, y'all, and, and, and continue to make good music for my fans and keep it crunk like I always do. And keep Auntie Jackie coming because Auntie Jackie is a real chick and she is funny as hell. And that's why she's going to make it. And she's some people already feel like I have made it. And I am a superstar. God has made me a star. I'm just not what I want to be yet. But there's a level and it takes time and I'm going up that ladder. Yes, I'm close to a breakthrough. My breakthrough was already in my hand. 2012 is going to be another year for me. It's going to be big. Y'all can think what y'all want to think. The ones who don't believe what I'm saying, you don't have to believe it. I'm not here to make y'all believe anything. They didn't believe Jesus. But guess what? He led them somewhere. It be the odd people. It be the weird people that a lot of people don't, don't. They try to outcast them, but they're more successful. It's the gay people designing all people's clothes. They, they, they more creative. I'm not saying that straight people... Are, are dumb or they don't have any talent or gifts. I'm just saying that I think weird people like me who put glass in their head and stuff like that, those are the people who God got an anointing on. And you never know who God may use. So don't come to me telling me, oh, I'm going to hell because I'm this way and all that. No. I got a smile on my face because I know God loves me and I know that I'm one of God's children. The thing is, it's something that a lot of y'all are battling with out there and y'all really, really need to find y'all selves. Y'all really do. Because everybody ain't, ain't what well, everybody ain't real. It's just too much fakery going on. Stop faking and be yourself. I done told y'all for Halloween, y'all had them mask on, and y'all still walking around here trying to judge people when in secret y'all want to do the same thing. Oh, he gay. Look at him. Look, he's, man, he's so gay over there. Why he got that hat? Man, that nigga gay as hell. Uh-huh, but in their mind, at my performances, you stand me down while I'm on stage clowning and doing everything I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Are you really straight like I said? It's too many women around here. Go buy a drink. Go, go... Go outside and try to holler at a female or something, but with you all in my face? Hell, the females have more... Your females and the girls y'all come to the club with, 
See, like they got more respect to me. They leave y'all and come to me and get on stage and dance. And I dance with them because I have fun with dancing with them. And I don't even like women. I, I know what I like. But y'all are really confused. At least I can stay and I got enough courage on this camera to say in my lifetime, while I'm still breathing, while I'm still here, I'm being truthful. Because you can't hide from God. You can't lie to God because God knows who we all are. You can, you can, anybody can say, okay, anybody can say I'm straight. Anybody can act like they're straight. But that don't mean that's what they necessarily is. Like, looks can be very deceiving. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm here today speaking up and I'm going to make it. I'm on my way. My sexuality is not going to stop me from making it. And that's what I thought. It's not going to stop me. God is showing me when you get over this hurdle, that's when them doors really, really, really going to start opening. Because they already opening anyway. Y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but y'all going to see. I don't have to prove nothing. My job is to continue to just keep doing what I'm doing and doors going to open. Yes, there's been a lot of doors closed in my face. I've had prophets to come to me and tell me you had a lot of doors closed in your face, but they about to open. Listen to God and I'm listening to him. I'm following him. It ain't me. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I this I feel like this wasn't supposed to happen. Not this early. No way. I thought it was going to be. I was telling people. I'm I'm going to come out, oh, it's going to be, I'll be 30 when I come out of 40, maybe. I'm only 23, y'all, and it's, it's happening fast. So I know that it's not me. I felt like I didn't have enough courage. I can do everything else. I can perform in front of thousands. I can travel and stand out. But to actually say out of my own mouth, y'all, that I'm gay, when I know that I am, but to say it, I feel like a, a feather. I feel like a burden has been lifted off my shoulders. Like like I said, I know some people felt like, well, you know, you didn't have to say nothing. But I mean, it's cool, you know. But I had to because I want to be real with my fans. And God, like I said, that's first God told me to do what I'm doing, y'all. Whether y'all believe that or not. I know he's been showing me things through dreams. I hear him. He speaks to me. So I hear him. I hear him. Whether anybody may think that I don't or not, y'all can say what y'all want to say. I'm talking to the ones who don't believe. Because you got some people who feel like, well, nah, God won't tell you how many... That's, I don't know, that's what y'all may think or that's what you, you all may feel. We all have our own individual relationship with God and people perceive God in different ways. But I know the God that I know that created me, I didn't ask to be here. I'm here. So I have to accept the fact, okay, some people are just born naturally to be who they are. And you can try to change them, but that's just like me trying to grow that arm that I don't have. That's just like trying to make a homorphodite who was born with a birth, birth defect have one part when they got two. That's how they came. Like, how can you, how? Like, how? So people need to learn how to respect people for who they are and move on. Keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So now that you all know, I'm glad that my fans can really hear me out and, 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 and love me and see me for who I really am. You've been seeing me. Y'all been seeing me. Y'all been keeping up, and I love y'all so much. I really, really do. Because y'all keep me going. I, I, y'all really do keep me going. I've cried all the tears I could cry, y'all. Um... I've cried. I cry when even my family don't know I'm crying. I'm crying when even some of my close friends don't know I'm crying. But that cry is not a bad cry. You know, now there are tears of joy because I know that God is taking me somewhere. And I know it takes courage to do what I'm doing. So now I can knock down any brick wall. I can knock down any obstacle. And I'm free now. So for all the ones who've been wondering, here you go. Y'all got what y'all was looking for. Y'all want to know? There it is. But just know I didn't do that for y'all. I did that for me. Because... I was putting my own self in bondage. I had my own self locked up. Now I'm free. So knowing that, I'm not going to say too much more. Um, if there are any more questions, if y'all want me to blog about some more things, I will. That's what it's about. That's what I'm here for. It's about understanding one another. And I think some people need to learn how to understand. Because some people, some people don't want to understand. And they don't, some people don't really know how to understand. You know, when you really think about it, I can't get mad at nobody who don't accept me. Because they don't know how to accept me, you know. Maybe I'm here for people to learn something new. It's a reason why I'm, I'm who I am. It's a reason why I'm born into this family. I know everybody in my family don't, don't really accept who I am. They love me because they have to, and I love them. But I'm just keeping it real. I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, I love them, but I know that they do love me, and that's important. But at the same time, I just want everybody to accept me for who I am. But I have to know that everybody may not. I can't put it in my mind. I can't um, say... Or, or expect everybody to accept me because I know it's not going to happen. Some may, some won't. But the ones who won't, it's going to be them that's going to miss out on them really knowing me and getting to know me and understanding me. It's a difference from knowing me and understanding. You know what I'm saying? Some people need to just understand that I'm not living a lie. I'm not um, out there walking around trying to be somebody that I'm not. Those days have been over with. I'm just being myself, y'all. I'm just being me. So with that being said, God is going to bless me and watch how these doors are about to open. So now y'all have it. Like I said, I'm gay. I'm a gay 
artist. I don't have to put myself out there as one per se, but you know, I make music. I make music for straight people. I make music. Music is music. Music is universal. It don't have to be. I make songs about girls. I make songs about a lot of stuff. But it's music. And I know my fans respect that. And I love y'all for that. So y'all repost these videos because you I know that God has a purpose for me. And I know I'm helping a lot of people just by saying what I'm saying right now. So I'm not gonna take too much more of y'all time, y'all. Um y'all continue to pray for me, you know. And continue to play that God continue to open these doors and that he continue to bless me with even more courage. Because that's what it's about. It's a lot of people who don't have courage to um to do things. And, and, and it's just about knowing who you are, y'all. And just have courage and believe in yourself regardless. If you believe in yourself, there's nothing that will be able to stop you. I don't care whether you're gay, straight, a dog, cat, blue, zigzag. It don't matter. The love I got on Facebook from, from, from letting people know, it was it was overwhelming. And, and, and to all my haters, I love y'all too. Because love conquers all. And... And that words of my big brother, Antoine Dotson, y'all can run and tell that, homeboy. So, I'm out, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. I love you all. Peace.